Hello, all you lovely internet people. What is up? My name is Slash of Snow, and today we have a little countdown of my top 10 favorite fins. This idea was suggested to me by longtime subscriber Yessi. This list will take in all kinds of people from different eras and backgrounds, and as we progress, I will, of course, explain my reasoning. Please note, however, this is my opinion and the way I see things. If you disagree, that's fine. Tell me below who your favorite fin is. Anyways, let's stop rambling and dive in. And at number 10 we have everyone's favourite fin, Santa Claus. Technically based on a few different folklore stories, such as the British figure of Father Christmas, the Dutch figure of Santa Claus and St Nicholas, everyone's jolly white bearded favourite man now hails from Rovaniemini. Apologies if I get that wrong. Just inside the Arctic Circle in Northern Finland, and receives up to 600,000 letters a year from well-wishing children all over the world. Until the 21st century, Father Christmas and Santa Claus were known as two separate entities, although some people are still said to prefer the term Father Christmas over Santa, nearly 150 years after Santa's arrival in Great Britain. At number 9 we have the frontman of the Finnish industrial metal band Tonrien Katilot, Petia Turinen, or as he is better known by his stage name, MC Rakape. Born in Silinjarvi, in 1980, Petja is the owner of the record label Osasto E, to which Termian are signed to. As well as Termian Katulet, Rakape has a few side projects. Two Times Terror, the more well known band, and currently have one album entitled Equals One Sudden Death, and a band called Vahim Collapse, who currently only have one single, but fans of the band, including me, are needing more. Being the frontman of a nationally successful metal band in a country where there are more metal bands than any other genre, all eyes are on Rakape, and in my view he has an awesome stage presence along with his partner in crime, Spellgoth, with the style of his clothing and face paint that leads him to command the stage and the audience. Plus how can you follow those fantastic gruff metal vocals? I will put links below for Two Times Terror and Bahin Collapsi. What kind of list would this be about Finland if I didn't include the country's greatest war hero? Baron Carl Gustav Emil Mannerheim was born in Askeinen on the 4th of June 1867, in what was then known as the Grand Duchy of Finland, which was part of the Russian Empire. His parents were Swedish-speaking aristocrats. After rising through the ranks of the Russian army and being the military chief during Finland's Civil War of 1918, Mannerheim was appointed commander-in-chief during World War II, when Finland had war thrust upon them by their Russian neighbours twice. This is where myself and others gained a lot of respect from Mannerheim during the winter and continuation wars of World War II. He and his troops managed to repel a far superior, greater equipped enemy in Russia over six years by using guerrilla tactics in frozen border areas, which was an incredible feat considering the military might of Russia. If you're interested in the winter wars, you should check out the book The Winter War by William Trotter if you want to know more about the time period. After World War II, Mannerheim was briefly Finnish president and died in 1951 in Switzerland and is buried in Helsinki. In a poll conducted in December of 2004, Mannerheim was voted the greatest Finnish person of all time. Frontman of shock rock band Lordy, Tommy comes from the same city as Santa Claus. Growing up, I was first interested in Lordy mainly due to the over-the-top costumes etc and thought wow, this is insane, but also very cool. The more and more I listened to the band, the more and more I grew to like them. I mean, who doesn't like Would You Love a Monster Man? Not only finding the band interesting on my own around the same time as I first came across them, they were Finland's entry in Eurovision. Yes, that's right, Eurovision. Something completely different to the usual rubbish from a country who was metal mad. Not only were they the strangest entrants ever, they also won the damn competition that year, which to my joy as a teenager liking the band was awesome. Tommy is ranked 7th in this list due to the excitement I felt watching them perform on Eurovision. As with MC Rakape, this gent would be better known by his stage name, Darud. The electronic music producer best known for his all round catchy songs and internet meme, Sandstorm. Villa, born in Turku, is now 40, but in his heyday of 1989-2000, he had taken over the world with one single song, and this was my first exposure to Darude. For a long time, I didn't even realise Villa was a Finn, but Sandstorm was the song that changed my entire musical interest at the turn of the century, 
leading me into dance and techno music as a lowly 12 or 13 year old. Watching the video nowadays, knowing it was shot in Helsinki, especially the opening, I look at it completely differently knowing that he sits on the steps outside Helsinki Cathedral. And just last year while I was in Finland, I was on those steps and in that church. Makes me nostalgic in a strange way. I think I might go listen to the song now. Going on the same presence as Baron Mannerheim, what's a Finnish list without its king of confectionery? Founder of Fatser, one of the largest companies in Finland and well known inside Europe. He founded the company in 1891, initially to sell French and Russian treats in Helsinki. As of 2016, 10,000 people are now employed over 8 countries producing some of the finest chocolate in the world. Unlike Mannerheim, Fatser has directly affected me due to being able to taste his creations over 130 years later, as you will have seen on this channel last year. There is one place I would like to visit when next in Helsinki, the Fatser Cafe. I mean, who wouldn't want to take a break from touring the city to enjoy some true Finnish coffee and treats? Ah, Frederick, the bushy-haired ladies' man of Finland, or as he is more affectionately known as Jon D. Diskon Kuningas, King of Hillbilly Disco. I'll be honest, until I met my Finnish other half, I never knew this man ever existed. Once she let me hear it for the first time, I thought he was maybe a parody artist like Weird Al, but the more and more I heard of him and watched music videos, I learned that he was a genuine artist, and that's when I really started to like his music. I realised to some Finns that he is a bit of a joke, but I really like the fact he's been making music for decades and never has taken himself too seriously. I mean, have you seen the video for Ladyboy? If not, go watch it. It's brilliantly bad. The pinnacle of music video special effects. Link is in the description. I'm sure you were wondering where Kimmy was going to pop up on this list, and here he is at number 3. Growing up I was a fan of F1 for years and can remember Kimi driving for the lowly Sauber before joining McLaren, my favourite team in the sport. I love the days when Kimi and Juan Pablo Montoya teamed up for the same team, Kimi coming so close to winning the title only to be pipped at the end of it by Fernando Alonso I believe. His incredible fight back in Japan, coming from way down the field to just squeezing a win in the last few corners. Incredible stuff. Not too long after that, Kimi decided to join Ferrari, my utter enemy in F1, and it saddened me that my favourite driver joining the team I hated most. But I stayed true in supporting McLaren, shortly after I personally fell out of F1 fandom myself. Healing from Espo, Kimi is currently 36 and back driving with Ferrari in F1, much to my sadness. The Iceman makes number 3 on my list due to his fantastic driving skills and of course the typical Finnish demeanour being on TV. A man of not too many words, he really is the Iceman. The recognisable singer of global band Him, Ville Hermanni Valo, was born in Helsinki to a Finnish father and a Hungarian mother. He ranks so high on my list for a few reasons. First, growing up in my teenage years, I was a massive fan of Him, as of course many mopey teens who are interested in rock music are. At the time I thought Villa and him were so cool, I mean they still make great music but I no longer subscribe to the whole look and feel anymore. Second reason is, at the time I was hugely influenced by Jagas, CKY, Bam Margera and Skating and would watch all these shows religiously. Unknown to me at the time, these shows were influencing my musical tastes. For about 3 or 4 years in my teens I watched those shows, listened to him etc which then led me to finding the Dudesons. Finland's more insane answer to Jagas. And of course, because I was a stupid teen, led me and my friends to recreate some stunts thinking we were the jackass guys. Which included such stunts as backflipping into a river, jumping through a door, smashing things over each other's heads. You know, general stupidness. And now to my number one. My favourite fan of all time, excluding family and friends of course. To me, Mika put Finland on the map. Up until that point I never knew the country even existed, mind I was only 10. He was also my favourite F1 driver at the time and still is to this day. Mika is the man. The thing I remember as a child is Mika winning the world championship in 1989. I was so overjoyed and happy that my favourite driver won everything. It also cemented my love for McLaren, to this day is still my team. Born in Vanta, nowadays Mika is 47 and lives in Monaco as well as France and Finland with his second wife. Mika was rather unlucky in 2008 when his newly completed mansion in France was burned down after a light in one of his trophy cabinets short circuited. No injuries reported, although Mika's collection of Formula 1 trophies was absolutely destroyed. To me, Mika Hakkinen is the greatest fan of all time. 
I hope you enjoyed this little countdown. Please remember this is my opinion and the way I see things. And as I said at the start of the video, if you disagree, please let me know who your favourite Finns are in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like for Finland. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to join our little community. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!